is for you, Rob. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, um, I was privileged and grateful to be asked to come here and speak tonight. Uh, my recovery started about 17 months ago when I was introduced into the drug court program. And uh, though I wish I could say I had 17 months clean, I don't. But what I have learned through my experience through drug court uh, is it's been a lifetime experience that I'll never forget. Um, drug court introduced me to Narcotics Anonymous, which I now call my home. And uh, it also brought me to meet amazing people that I have in my life today. And uh, I'm, I'm really grateful for everything that Drug Court and Narcotics Anonymous have done in my life today. Uh, I've been able to turn my life around completely. Uh, I no longer wake up in the morning thinking if I'm going to use drugs or not. I wake up in the morning thinking how I can be a productive member of society and what I could do to better myself each and every day. I don't worry about what happens tomorrow, I worry about today and just get through each day, one day at a time. And uh, Drug Court has taught me a lot of stuff. Uh, I can't say that I've gone through Drug Court perfect. I've had a couple hiccups and a couple mistakes, but like everybody always says, nobody's perfect and we all mess up sometimes. But uh, what Drug Court has taught me is honesty, and honesty is a big part of my life today. And uh, until I became willing to become honest with myself and everybody around me, I wasn't moving forward in my recovery. And uh, the day I became honest with myself was when I, I was actually sitting in the county jail. And it, it took for me to sit in the county jail to realize how bad I wanted recovery and how much I wanted to stay clean and how much I wanted to better myself. And uh, I'm, I'm so grateful to have drug court in my life today. Uh, I do believe that between drug court and narcotics and honest, my life is being saved right in front of my eyes and I don't even realize it sometimes. And, uh, Dave and Carrie are amazing people at Shaw Behavioral. I don't know what I'd do without them. Uh, Judge Allison Joni is probably one of the kindest people I've ever met in my life. And people don't usually have good things to say about judges, but he really does care about you and he wants you to do better and he wants to see you succeed in your life. And uh, I don't know, I just, I'm a grateful recovering addict. I'm not afraid to tell people that I am in recovery and that I, am, that I have an addiction. I do know that I will be an addict for the rest of my life. That, that will never change and I do need to be in meetings for the rest of my life. And the meetings is what kind of makes my day. Like in drug court you have to do 90 meetings in 90 days. And that ended for me about a month and a half ago and I still find myself in a meeting every day because that, that's my home. You know, the meetings are my home and I get so much out of going there and seeing my friends. Like Narcotics Anonymous is my family. Like I, I've gotten to have so many people in my life from Narcotics Anonymous that I can actually call friends. They're not acquaintances. They're not just there. They're there because I have something they want or they have something that I want. They're, they're there for me in every which way I could possibly imagine. I've met so many great people through Narcotics Anonymous and I'm so grateful to have all of them in my life today. And I don't know, I was able to form a relationship with my daughter, which is really big for me. And uh, my family is there to support me, a thousand percent, they're behind me no matter what. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm grateful to be here, I'm grateful that everybody was here tonight to hear me speak. That's all I got.